Hey you guys, I know I'm in a different place. Um, in a different <laughs> in a different setup than I normally am for my channel for recording my channel. Look, baby, don't come for me in my Christmas tree while my Christmas tree is uh why don't you got it is January 2nd. I got a good week before that's gonna start looking a little <laughs> <laughs> lazy so anyway in this video i'm going to be going over some of my goals for 2018 and what to expect from my youtube channel this year you guys first of all i want to say thank y'all for your support thank you for really rolling with me i don't know about you baby but i am so blessed to be able to make it to 2018 not like i wasn't on my deathbed or anything but y'all I just feel overwhelming pride to be able to, just grateful, not even pride, just grateful to be able to wake up in 2018 because we know everything that happened last year, all of the mass shootings, terrorism around the world. I know a couple of you guys have lost loved ones. I lost a family member. There's some people who didn't make it to 2018. A couple of you are dealing with, you know, some real issues. I know a couple of my subscribers have you have cancer. And so, and I'm praying for you guys. It's just such a blessing to be able to see another day and to make it to 2018, y'all, we made it. So I'm very blessed overall, I'm very blessed. So last year was a good year. I got married, my best friend got married, but it was also a very stressful year. Um, I had a lot of anxiety and I discussed it in a couple of my vlogs, but I learned some things about myself and about being a mother and about being a wife. Um, JB was a mess. <laughs> <laughs> JV is my four-year-old. Um, the toddler years are over, girl. His personality has shined through this year. He is so cute on my vlogs, isn't he? But he is like that 24-7 girl, and you ain't living here with him. So, yeah, it was a bit taxing. And one of the things I learned, because I, I do believe that you need to pull from issues you go through and learn from that, right? So one of the things that I learned, especially as a mother, a wife, and just juggling all these different roles and, and responsibilities that I gotta take care of me first, okay? I gotta spend time for myself, take care of myself, and I wasn't doing that a lot last year, which is why I kept having to take a break from you guys. Um, so yeah, that is something I'm definitely going to do this year. And thankfully, praise God, JB starts kindergarten in August. So that's gonna be a huge relief for me. Um, because he's home with me and I work from home. He's home with me two days out of the out of the week. Um, so yeah. I also learned that to not sweat the small stuff, y'all. To really not sweat the small stuff, don't get angry or little bitty things, you know. Um, because it's gonna be another day and it's it's gonna be okay. So as far as my goals for this year, you guys saw my vision board or my digital vision board video, and thank you for the feedback on that video. That is something I created in 2015, and a lot of the items on that vision board have come true, have come into existence, like me getting married. Um, I started doing yoga, I've lost some weight, I created an, a savings account or opened up a savings account, excuse me, for Jabessa. So um, what I had to do over the course of the, of the past three days is to look at that vision board again and try to determine, okay, what can I do this year to fulfill some of these items, okay? So I have a couple of jotted down things here. I'm not gonna go over everything, girl. We're gonna be here forever. But I am gonna cover two or three items, and then we're gonna move into the fun things, which is what to expect from me on my YouTube channel, okay? One of the items, and I'm laughing at it, <laughs> because I'm watching something right now that goes against this. But last year, my husband made a comment um, when I was going through one of my little anxiety, not little, I don't wanna downplay it because it's serious. When I was having some anxiety, I was watching um, Real Housewives of Atlanta. And it was the episode where Portia, those of you who watched the show, it was an episode where Portia and Nene were fighting and they were cursing and angry and going back and forth. And my husband was basically like, why are you even watching this? This is not helping your anxiety. He said, this is probably adding to your anxiety. You're watching something that's very negative. You need to be watching something that's more calming, like, you know, National Geographic. And at the time, I was like, what? Ain't nobody got time to be watching no damn lions. <laughs> but he's right. He was absolutely right. And looking back at it, I can honestly say, I don't watch a lot of TV, but sometimes I'll have the TV on the background and what I'm watching is ratchet TV shows. So one of my goals is to go one month without no type of negative ratchet, real housewife, love and hip hop, married to medicine, none of that stuff. I'm not gonna watch any of that stuff for a whole month, see how my mood changes, how my personality changes. So yeah, that's one of them. I really need to save more money. I didn't do that bad with spending this, this year, but 
I could have saved a lot more money, okay? I wasn't, the year before I was spending a lot of money and this year I just need to do better about, you know, saving my money. So yeah, that's another one. Um, one that has to do with my career is that I need to decide on my career, my career path. And I think that's the goal for a lot of us. And I think that's where a lot of us are trying to achieve is what should I be doing? I think that, and I'm trying not to go off subject a little bit, but I think that it's never too late to start over. It's never too late to pursue your dreams. I have a couple of friends, you guys, and I have older friends. I mean, I only have a few friends that are my age. Most of my friends are in their 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, yeah. So anyway, I have a couple of friends that fulfill their life dreams later on in life. I have one friend, she became an author at 72, and she's actually on her second book. I have another friend that got her PhD when she was like 65 years old. So it's never too late to you know, start over and to start something new. However, I don't want to waste time. I want to be thriving in my purpose you know, my kingdom assignment is what we call it right now while I'm in my prime and fine. But <laughs> so one of the things I did just this morning was to narrow down what I think I want to do as a career, but I really need to think about, am I passionate about these things? And the problem that I have, and I think a couple of you may have it too, is that I'm good at a lot of different stuff. I'm good at, I don't know, uh, documentations, SOPs, process management, process improvement. I'm good at cooking. I'm good at presentations. But just because I'm good at something doesn't mean that's what I'm supposed to be doing. So I don't want to be doing anything that's going against what I'm supposed to be doing or going against what we call God's will. I want to be in a line on what I was created for, honing in on those gifts that I have that someone else may not have. You know what I mean? So, um, and one of the things, tips that I wanna give you guys, if you're thinking about changing career, go to Career Builder. Type in what you're interested in. Look at the skill set, the skills that are needed for that position. And go for it, baby. That's exactly what I did for the first <laughs> 10 years, but I noticed for the for the past five or six, five or six years, I've been at a standstill with my career because I became a mom, um, became a wife, and so I've just been, I haven't been going up the corporate ladder, so to speak, but yeah, I just definitely need to hone in on that. I'm going to spend February really focusing on that, you guys. I'm going to actually create a separate vision board just for my career itself, um, so yeah. Now, when it comes to my YouTube channel, again, thank you guys for your support because baby, I know it's like, I'm not doing any new product reviews. I'm like, oh, I'm not vlogging right now. <laughs> so thank you guys for sticking with me. Um, I am with a network, those of you who don't know. I am with Univision. I'm actually with The Root, which is through Univision. And so we discussed certain things prior to launching, you know, probably prior to me signing up with them, excuse me. And one of the things that, one of my goals for my channel was to reach 10,000 subscribers. Cause at the time I was at like five, 6,000, but they saw potential in me. They loved my content. And so I went and ended up signing up with Univision. I met 14,000 subscribers. I did hit 14,000 last year. But one of the things that I did, you know, I do not advise for you who, <laughs> if you're thinking about starting YouTube or you want to be a YouTuber, don't compare yourself to other people. And I started to do that towards the end of last year, especially a couple of particular people who our content is kind of similar. And I noticed that I'm like, they are surpassing me in subscribers. I'm like, what the hell? But I looked at, I, I admire that. I never get jealous of anyone else. I'm my own person, you're your own, own person. There's enough for all of us, right? I admire people who do that. Another sister winning, I love it. But I'm like, what the hell, what are they, what are they doing and what can I do to better my content, my channel? Um, so one of the things I noticed with this particular person is that she's very professional in her videos. She's not as random as I am. Her social media media accounts are very well put together, very personal. And you go over to my Instagram and I have pictures of pancake. <laughs> Now, there's nothing wrong with that, but I need to pull back a little bit. You know, JV can't be in my videos all the time because that can be distracting. And there's some people who may not like kids. I'm just keeping it real. Hell, I don't like some people's kids. And so some people may find that cute, but other people may be like, I wish that I could just focus on the content, her so hair. I, and I get it, okay? Um... So yeah, I need to do, be a little bit better about that. I'm getting better with my backgrounds, getting better with my editing, my thumbnails, my music. Thank you guys for the compliments on that. Um, what else? I did a, <laughs> and this is again tailoring, kind of making sure that I pull back a little bit on what I say, a little bit of a filter. When I did the collaboration with Tierra Van, and she came over here, and I think 
I said she, a couple of things, she was like, oh, we're gonna have to edit that out, edit that out. I'm like, well, damn. And so I, the one thing I remember was that I told her, I said, my titties hang a little low. And she was like, oh, we gotta edit that out. And I was like, I say titties at least two or three times a week in my videos. <laughs> so, but I respected her wishes. <laughs> I respected your wishes. I edited out, you know, me saying titties. But no, it's titties. Like, look, when you get to be triple D's, these are not dress attached. Like, these are titties. So, but I edited it out. <laughs> and I get it. I will be pulling back a lot more. It, it will still be Vivian. I'll still be 100 with you. I'll still be there. Because I think that me being this way is relatable. But sometimes, not everyone likes that. And I get it. So there will be a lot more of my product reviews where out there will be voiceover. So that you don't hear JB. So that you don't... So that I'm not so random. So I can get to the point. My videos will stay at about the five, six minute mark. There won't be these 10 minute, you know, videos. Even though a couple of you said you like the longer videos. So yeah. Now, as far as content, vlogging and product reviews are coming back in March. Yay! Now, don't get worried, you guys. I do have a couple of videos scheduled before then. Next month, I will be going over what worked with me doing my six months natural hair journey. It went by like that, didn't it? That's why I told you guys, be patient when it comes to your hair. I remember recording my video on what I planned on doing over the next six months and we're already here, we're towards the end, okay? So yes, that video is coming up. I have a couple of other videos. I think I may do a protein treatment sometime this month. Um, but starting in March, I will be going back to my product reviews and I'm going to label this a series because I'm gonna be focusing on one line a month. So um, maybe I'll name it like a month with, so like a month with Ella K Naturals, a month with Camille Rose. And I think my hair will, hair will appreciate this and not going to shock, you know, using a different um, product every week. Cause typically lines use similar ingredients so it won't be too much on my hair, too much stress on my hair either. So starting up in March will be LK Naturals. And so the goal is to highlight one product a week. So maybe, you know, the shampoo and conditioner week one, week two, a leave-in spray, week three, a deep conditioner. And then week four, I will be using a styling product and then create a style. Um, so I'll let you guys know which product reviews are coming up. And this is in order. Like I said, in March, LK Naturals will be first. And then next up we have the main choice. Mal, is it Meal? Mal? Meal Organics. Jane Carter Curls to Go. Did you guys know that Jane Carter has a line that's just for four category chicks? And it's called Curls to Go. And on her website, it says it's for four seats. So I'm very excited to try that line. I may get those products for free, girl. Um, Camille Rose. And then ended it with Aunt Jackie. So this will take us into August with product reviews. Again, focusing on one product for the entire month. In addition to that, I want to bring you guys different series because I've been on YouTube for five years. I've done tons of hair videos. I mean, every now and then I think it's funny. Someone will say, do you have a video on this? Or this product is good. And I, I, sometimes if I have time, I'll respond with the link to that. I have over 500 videos. And yeah, a lot of those are vlogs, but I have a lot of product reviews. So it become a little redundant. And with that being said, the focus still will be hair and hair related videos, but I do want to provide um, valuable content to my subscribers. So a couple of days ago, again, I let you guys know that I had some ideas for some series and it seemed to be the most popular ones was the woman to woman series and the um, passion driven, a purpose driven journey, okay? So those are the twos that I, two that I will be highlighting on my channel throughout the year to give you guys a little bit more information on the series, Woman to Woman. So this is, <laughs> this is gonna be a little random series, but it's gonna be more informational advice. Um, maybe show you how to season the cast iron skillet, um, how to entertain on a budget. Um, I don't know, there, there could be some cooking videos sprinkled throughout that. Um, just random stuff, but woman to woman, that kids craft, uh, kids book collection, stuff like that, you know, skincare. So that would be the woman to one, woman to woman series. Now the purpose driven journey is the one that I got a lot more feedback from. The one I'm really excited about. You saw my eyebrows go up, right? The one that I'm really excited about. So going over, and I can show you real quick, going over several different books on this one is actually called 
the purpose driven life which i'm actually going to change the title of that series because i don't want to mimic this but this book is called the purpose driven life and so i am going to change the series y'all um and i have another book and i just have different things that i've been reading yeah and that would include basically what i've just started to do going over career career goals um career development um how to hone in on your skill set so basically you will see me going through the process of trying to figure out what the hell i want to do with my life but hopefully that can help someone out there and you guys can we can help each other because that's what i'm look i'm trying to get there this year i'm claiming it right now for all of y'all from all of me i'm trying to get into my purpose i want to be walking into my purpose this year amen and i think i will i know i will so um, i'm really excited about that like i said that's coming in april now I know some of you be like, that's a lot of different stuff on your channel. Girl, I agree. I agree. Um, I did contact Univision for feedback on whether or not I should create a second channel and pull the vlogs and the non-hair related content onto a separate channel. I'm still waiting on, you know, feedback from them. But you guys, I may be quite honest with you. It probably, I probably won't do that for the simple fact that I won't be able to monetize those videos. And I'm just going to keep it 100 with you. I won't be able to monetize those videos. And if I'm really going to be creating content that's as extensive like goal setting, it took me half a day to create that previous video on the vision board. Half the day. So I want to be compensated for the work I put in. YouTube is a lot of work. And so, yeah, I think I could get to 10,000 views in a couple of months. But until then, I won't be able to make any money on all those videos I'm posting up. So more than likely I will not create a second channel, but there are other YouTubers who have successful channels and they have a bunch of stuff. Yolanda Renee, <laughs> I was looking at her channel last night. She has nails, hauls, um, hair, skin, decoration. That is the most random channel I've ever seen and I love it, I'm here for it. So since I more than likely won't be creating a second channel, this is what the breakdown of what the video's schedule is gonna look like. Monday and Wednesday will be for vlogs, and then Fridays will be for nothing but hair. Even if it's the you know month end series, that's gonna be for hair. And then Saturday, once I start the woman to woman and the purpose driven series, Saturdays will be for that. But again, that's not coming to April, and more than likely, those videos won't be weekly. They will be like bi-weekly, so basically twice a month of the series. So yes, you guys, that is the goal. I'm ready to work, work hard. I do believe in the hard work. I don't believe you that you can sit on your butt and expect great things to happen. You gotta work for it, right? So yeah, I'm ready and excited to hear you guys' success stories. So that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching and take care, bye.